you guys can see, it is the number one pit stop of the trip. I just left my house, said bye to my roommate, which was not easy, but I'll see him over the summer. Um, everything is taped up here. Some of the tape has actually fallen off, but the car is pretty much ready to go. I got all my stuff in the back. It's all my pillows and stuff. But only at Shell, my favorite gas station. I figured I would end it off by going to the one that's right here on Pacific Coast Highway. It's a nice little R8 right there. So yeah, I figured that instead of doing just a normal trip, of showing you guys like just driving and getting there, what I wanted to do was kind of like a challenge or more of showing how much it costs to drive across the country. Now, I have a half tank right now, keep in mind. So I was only able to get $37 worth of gas right there. So it's not that much, but I will get a receipt every time. It's Sunday morning, December 22nd, I think, or the 21st, I don't know. I'm pretty tired, only because yesterday was a long day. I drove to San Diego to see my mom. Kind of celebrated Christmas, I guess, because I'm not gonna be here for Christmas, and for my birthday, because my birthday's on December 31st. <sighs> okay, well, I'd have to be honest. It's a weird feeling. It's strange to, I don't know. I'm putting the address in right now. So right now I'm doing current location to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It's recommending to fly. It's loading right now. It's currently a little bit overcast, 74 in SoCal. <laughs> is this the route that I want to take? I guess so, I'm cool with that. All right, well, this is it guys. Uh... Now our starting point is gonna be the Shell gas station on Pacific Coast Highway in Newport Beach, California. And we are saying goodbye to this ocean and we'll say hello to another ocean. I think, <laughs> I don't know. Let's do this. Look at that, 37 hours. All right, let's go. We're gonna reset the trip odometer. Hopefully I don't reset it on accident when I'm pumping gas. The M3 is currently at 70,000 miles, 335. M mode is on and say goodbye to California. Let's go. This is, I gotta say, it's a very strange feeling, but I'm excited. I can't believe it's already here. <laughs> so nothing too significant to check in for, but currently driving through, currently driving through a new developed area, it looks like. As you can hear, the road is very rough. Uh, it is looking like we are in, looks like this is Moreno Valley, which I don't know much about, but uh, we are one hour in of the drive, and so far so good. Currently at a quarter tank of gas right now. Oh, by the way, look at this view. I mean, I know it's not insane, but you know, I'm coming from Newport Beach, which you know, we have nice cars and the ocean, but I always forget about how beautiful the mountains are. Like this is really, really beautiful through here. And it's currently, I think about 65 out or 60. So it's really nice, but I'm enjoying these drives for sure so far. So it looks like um, I just switched the map. So it's a little bit more interactive, but I'm currently headed uh, basically to Phoenix, passing by Vegas, which I won't be in Vegas, but passing by. And then, uh, yeah, I'll check in in a bit. stop we're coming up we're coming up on quarter tank of gas in my car and I'm not gonna risk going any further and we're in the middle of absolute nowhere as in some place called Blyth or Blythe 
a lot of farm. Uh, I drank that whole coffee. I have to go to the bathroom so bad, so I'm gonna pull over here, and also I'm gonna fill up the car, and we'll do a check-in for how much gas money I've spent so far. But the one shell that I find is completely abandoned. All right, so second stop was $34.81. Uh, I actually stopped when it was at a quarter tank, and thankfully all this is holding up pretty well. Uh, nothing's really flown off. I saw one or two pieces that were kind of pulling up, but I was able to get them to stick right down. Unfortunately, I'm at a Valero, which I think is one of the worst gases in the world. But uh, I tried to go to that shell. As you saw, it was abandoned. There is a VP racing fuel there, but I was like, eh, whatever. But um, yeah, so far, so good. $34.81 here. Oh, it wasn't even a full tank. Are you kidding me? It stopped halfway. Damn it. Just to make it more confusing, added on 17 more dollars at another gas station. Just got into Arizona. We just passed the sign right now that said welcome to Arizona. So, officially, Arizona. For the first time, I've hit traffic. Uh, we're five hours in right now, and we're currently we're currently just in Phoenix. We're almost to Phoenix, Arizona. It's about four o'clock, four fifty here in Arizona. I have to say, out of any single state I've been in, Arizona has some of the best roads I've ever driven on. These are so nice. One option I see is Shell and West Cactus Road. All right, just got $32, I believe, of gas at the Circle K slash Shell in Flagstaff, Arizona. $19. Bucks somewhere in Arizona, no idea. You probably just see me off of the red light right here, but I'm currently in Tucson, Arizona. It's been six hours of driving so far. I stopped to go to the bathroom three times and I've been getting gas on and off only because I'm doing small amounts to make sure that if I ever go to like a long stretch of area, I don't run out. I always try to go like, I never let my car go below a half tank. Some of this is starting to rip off, man. There's a, there's a cop in front of me right now. This gas station is called Loves. You see that? Oh, man. Name of this place? <laughs> right now it is currently 10:31 p.m. and I'm getting gas again. You have to use your zip code, and I always forget which one I use. So I had to go inside. I just basically put in like whatever I think will fit in the tank, but we'll add that to the total right here. Thank you, loves. Let's see how much longer I can go. It's kind of hard to see it on camera, but I'm in Las. So I'm not even gonna try to say that. Look at that city, man. It's so hard to pick up on camera, but there's so many lights. I didn't see a sign for it, but uh, we're in El Paso, Texas. So officially Texas right here. Inspection station. And I'm pretty sure they ask you if you have any fruit, which is strange. my camera down. 
They asked me if I was a U.S. citizen. Yes, I am. Uh, this is a car burning to the ground right now. Look at that. Oh my God, I've never seen that before. Yo! We're currently somewhere in Texas right now and getting more gas as usual, 25 bucks. All right guys, I think uh, it's been enough for me tonight. This is the Pecos County Safety Rest Area. And uh, I'm pretty damn tired, man. I'll check in with you guys once I park. So you guys can see I'm in a hotel room. I actually went to that rest stop and chilled for like 10 minutes just to close my eyes. And I was like, I just need to get to a hotel. And I realized that this city is called Fort Jackson, I think in Texas somewhere. And ended up getting just a small hotel room. I don't know if there's, there's of course lights. Where are they though? Where the f is the light? I can't figure out how to turn these on, dude. There. And it is currently, currently 3.43 in the morning. You can see there's my baby in the middle of Texas right now, in the middle of the night. I'm gonna eat some food and go to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, it's the next morning. Uh, it's currently like 10 a.m. Just took a shower. Let's go down there. So just got about four or five hours of sleep. The time change is two hours different, so two hours ahead. Car's looking good. The tape is coming up a little bit, but nothing too bad. Everything's all right so far. Had a couple pieces that I had to rip off, but we're looking good. All right, back on the road. Feel much better after sleeping for a couple hours. I am tired though. Uh, I don't think a lot of people realize how um, tiring driving can get, and. I think one of the hardest parts too is that, I didn't really mention it, but I'm pretty sick. Uh, I've had like a fever and a cold for, I don't know, maybe like five days now. And the last two days has been the worst. <laughs> so it's like, did it really have to happen now? But I'll take it, I'm okay, I'll make it work. I'm gonna take some DayQuil, get some coffee, and I'll check in with you guys in just a little bit. Save me. We already had about a quarter tank, so $31. Gas is pretty cheap, three dollars nine cents. So I just stopped to pick up Rain-X only because my windshield was super dirty. So this helps a ton, and it's supposed to fight against rain, which I'm hoping we don't come across. But did the front and the back windshield. Thank you to O'Reilly's. So now that I just cleaned my windshield and my back windshield, it's a uh, hundred times better. That Rain-X is great. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but. Uh, it's funny, I just asked the guys at O'Reilly Auto Parts, I was like, hey, do you guys know where like a coffee shop is? And they had, like I asked, I didn't even want to ask for a Starbucks and I did, and they looked at me like, what are you talking about, man? This is called Fort Stockton, man. This is like the only part of the city they have. It's a small town, it's like cool. I like these little small towns, but from what it sounds like, I need to go to San Antonio to get any kind of coffee shop or Starbucks. So, I'm going to Starbucks in San Antonio. Really? Is it true? Or are you just joking? You don't have a smartphone? Please come up here. You're like, I, I want to meet you, sir, for the rest of us. So I'm on this road in Texas and I'm listening to the Charlie podcast, the girl from TikTok on Gary's podcast. It's a really good talk. But I hit this white road. I don't know if you guys can hear my tires. I have, R I have a federal RSRRs and they're super loud in general, but this road makes them sound like, it sounds like I'm on an airplane even more. I don't know if you guys can hear it. it sounds kind of cool. All right, stopped to get more gas. Did $28.53. We are somewhere in Texas. I don't even know. Shoot it super straight for me. find a Starbucks so I just got coffee at the gas station. Good afternoon Trump with the Highway Patrol. Reason for the stop today was your speed. Okay. Check the back there. Is there uh, a reason for the hurry today? No, I'm just coming from California. Okay, do you have your driver's license yeah, on you? Of course. Where are we headed to today? Uh, heading to Florida. Okay. Purpose of the trip? Uh, moving out there for good. Okay. And insurance for the vehicle? Yeah. 
there's that for you. Okay, it was way too fast for us. It will be a citation for the speed. I'll be right back with you. Okay, thank you. All right, let's get your signature right here at the top for me. Sure. This is not a plea of guilt. It's a promise to us that you're going to contact the courts and take care of this. Top by the blue X. Did you shoot me by radar or were you patient? I sure did. Do you mind if I see a radar gun? Mm, no, it doesn't work like that. How's it work? It's mounted to my dash, so I can't bring it up here to you. Oh, I can't look in your car? No, you sure can't. Really? You do have until January 22nd to contact the courts. At least let them know what you want to do. That's your copy. Judge's information is circled down there for you. If you have any questions, just give them a call. Gotcha. Okay. Slow it down for us. Have a safe trip. All right. Thank you so much. What? So I just got my first ticket of the trip. I got a who and a 75. Don't know why the cop wouldn't let me look at the uh, radar gun, which was kind of stupid. But you can see here, look at this, 93 for 272. This is the first time I've ever put 93 in my car. So some tape came off, unfortunately, but it's good so far. Jeez. And we just spent 27 bucks on gas to get 10 gallons. Damn, that's crazy. Where I'm from in California, 65 is the speed limit. Out here, some of the signs actually say 80 miles an hour, which is kind of cool. I don't know, I... Talk to my lawyer, I guess. I don't know where I'm at. But Boeing, T Texas, B-O-E-R-N-E. -E. Man, cops are out today. It's a state trooper. Looks like I'm officially in San Antonio right now, heading to Houston. It's a big freeways, man. Neon SRT4. Pretty sure that's real. I haven't seen one of those in forever. They're selling homes, like mobile homes on trailers. You can just go and grab them. Oh, there's a fireworks store. I forgot those are legal out here. Yo. So I went to go to the bathroom real quick and I pulled over and there's a bunch of hay right there. I don't know what this is, but man, this is some country roads, that's for sure. There's a fireworks superstore. I'm so tempted, but I don't need fireworks right now. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys that, you know, this experience has been awesome so far. I'm really having a lot of fun. Besides the ticket, whatever, man. It's all about mindset. This is just so much fun, man. Just driving for hours and hours. It's a little bit tiring, but man, it's a lot of time to think and just reflect. And I'm very thankful. So, all right, back on the road. I accidentally took the side road that's parallel to the freeway. And I, I'm hoping it goes back on. I hope it doesn't turn around. But look, man, there's cows. Woo! Finally, 17 hours. $27. We are currently over in Texas. I believe this is Austin, Texas. <sighs> Halfway there. Somehow my timing put me in downtown Houston at rush hour. Not the best time to be stuck in downtown Houston, but it's a beautiful city as you guys just saw in the last few clips, but this is not good timing. It is currently like 5.45 p.m. <laughs> yeah, look at the freeways here. Look how crazy that is. There's so much happening over here. <laughs>
just got through Texas, just made it to Louisiana, I think. Yeah, Louisiana. And I need to get out and stretch because I'm exhausted. This was $29. And we are currently over in Louisiana getting gas. I don't even know where this place is. It's currently, I think, 8 p.m. right now. Nine o'clock at night. And you can see my phone is now starting to say the minutes. So 13 hours, nine minutes to go. I'd get there tomorrow morning at 11 a.m., but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Less than a thousand miles to go. Somewhere in Louisiana. Where am I? Twenty-five bucks in Louisiana, uh, somewhere called Danny and Clyde's Deli. I just entered Mississippi. Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's it. Long thing. Okay, I don't know why I find this so fascinating, but I'm currently in Mississippi, and look at how well lit the freeways are. The, this is a freeway. Everything's so lush and green too. Look at this, like. I think those are bodies of water. There's like a Red Bull logo in there for sure. But, yo, Alabama. So I just got this hotel room for $58 a night at the Quality Inn. I just had to pull over and find a place to sleep because last night I slept like four hours or five maybe. And I did uh, 14 hours of driving today. So I'm gonna go there for hopefully six or seven hours and then back out there. So I'll check in with you guys in the morning. What's up guys, good morning. It is uh, Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2019. And it is, I think, uh, what day is it? Today's Tuesday. And as you saw, I slept in that hotel last night. It wasn't too bad, I mean, I spoiled myself the first night. And uh, I, don't, I didn't even care. I just, when I found like a major city, I just pulled over and I found a hotel. 60 bucks to sleep for six hours. Like, I'm, I'm cool with that. I think I slept, I slept about seven actually. I'm feeling rough though, I had my soap blew up on all of my clean shirts <laughs> so I only have this shirt and I don't know how or to do laundry because I'm gonna be in hotels the next few days. Is this green for me? I don't know. I think I'm just going for it. <laughs> I need to get Starbucks or some kind of coffee. It's a bunch of cops over there. But yeah I slept okay. I believe today's a nine hour and 59 minute drive. We completed two 12-hour drives, I believe, somewhere around there. And this is gonna be the final stretch to Florida. We're in Alabama, so we're almost there. See ya. First gas stop of the day is over in Alabama. I probably mentioned this earlier in my video, but I don't let my car get after, I don't let my car get under a half a tank of gas. You guys can tell I'm tired as hell. Uh, so I just did $25.80, and that should be enough. Well, it's a full tank, so. All right, let's go that way. I need coffee too, man. Place inside didn't have any good coffee, so I'm gonna go find better coffee. Three quarters of a mile. Turn left to merge onto I-10 East toward Mobile. Nine, uh, 739 miles, nine hours and 59 minutes to go. So it'll be there tonight at 8.39. Right now it's 9.40, even though that actually means like seven o'clock my time. All right, let's go. Florida. Yeah, we made it. I saw some palm trees back there and I was like, am I in Florida? Even though we have another eight hours of driving in Florida. <laughs> this is the slowest pump I've ever seen. 
Look at this. Look how slow this pump is. Can you guys see that? I just got to Florida, crossed over the state line. I think I'm maybe like an hour and a half, two hours in, and just getting gas right now at the slowest pump in the world. I'm actually gonna clean out the car right now because there's a lot of garbage in it. 30 bucks on the clock right there. It took forever. Never ever seen 18 miles per gallon. The best I've ever seen was 17, and that was in my E90. The worst I've seen in this car was 14, and that was before I did the spark plugs and the coil packs and the fresh oil change and everything. But after I did all that stuff, and now that I've been on the road for over 2,000 miles, I'm averaging 18.2 miles per gallon on this thing. I'm not sure about this one, uh, I think that one usually reads a little bit higher, but dude, 18 miles per gallon in an M3. So as far as being in Florida, that's where we are right now at the very top. Just got gas at a shell finally, some quality gas. $33.50, so we're only five hours away. We're currently at the very top of Florida and we're about to go towards Miami, which means we're turning here. This is just a big turn, I believe, that's gonna lead us to go south now, because all we've been doing is going east for the last, like, 30 hours. Now we're finally gonna start going south towards Miami and Fort Lauderdale. I am currently in Florida. South on US Highway. This is how close I am. Alright, let's go. It's windy. Not too sure if it shows up on camera, but um, this is like the darkest road I've ever driven on in my entire life. Yeah, it's like really dark. This is the 50th cop I've dealt with. <laughs> Just casually a brand new M8 in front of me. And then downtown Fort Lauderdale. Arrive at your destination. There's a the final numbers right there. That's what you're seeing. So for anyone who's new to Florida or Fort Lauderdale, this is Las Olas Boulevard and this is like the main stretch here. It's kind of like the party area of Fort Lauderdale. And it is so cool to finally be here, man. I've watched so many YouTube videos on this place. Look at this. Crazy. Fort Lauderdale collection. There's a Senna in there and a singer. I was here last time, but I gotta come back again. Finally made it to beautiful. This is actually right by Miami, a little bit south of Fort Lauderdale, but I decided to come down. This is actually the day after, and I just drove down to check out South Beach. I, I checked out uh, Miami Beach. I looked around Sunny Isles. I mean, I've been driving for the last three or four hours. And uh, look at that, dude. You guys on the jet ski. It's Christmas today. Merry Christmas, you guys. Didn't realize that, but. Florida, we did it, we're here. 